Thank you for watching Scary Bear Attacks. If you like this episode, please remember to hit the like button and leave a comment or two. Then subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications of whenever we release new videos. Also, please remember to share them to your social media. Welcome back to Scary Bear Attacks. Today's episode takes us to somewhere very exotic and off the beaten path compared to our normal episodes. When you think of a bear attack, places like Montana, Alaska, or Canada may come to mind, but today's episode is on the opposite side of the planet. In Malaysia, the government struggles to balance the resources needed by humans and wildlife. Between 59 to 70 percent of the peninsula is covered in dense and beautiful rainforests, with 11.6 percent of it being pristine and untouched by human utilization. The plant life here is considered to be megadiverse, with more than 15,000 vascular plant species, given that it is a small nation that is saying something. The forests here have acacia, African and centang mahogany, para rubber tree, burr flower tree, and benuang trees, which form a huge upper canopy that blocks out much of the sunlight. Not to be outdone, the wildlife in Malaysia is diverse as well. The giants of the forest are the elephants and rhinos, but orangutans, tapirs, monkeys, and several types of deer dash about the forest floor as well. The predators in Malaysia are many and include the Indochinese tiger, Indochinese leopard, Malayan tiger, and the clouded leopard. The last predator on the list is a diminutive form of its international cousins, the sun bear. Sun bears have a white crest on their chests that resemble a sunrise, hence their name. Sun bears are known for their harmless appearance. They have a very surprised look to them and are thought of as cute and innocent. They are, however, wild animals that are armed to damage, maim, or kill any threat to them, their cubs, or their territory. Sun bears are most closely related to American and Asiatic black bears, with much more in common with them than any other bear species on their overlapping territories. As Malaysia quickly develops into a very modern and prosperous nation, it manages its resources to permit growth and future development. It is one of the world's largest exporters of lumber, and part of this resource management is closely monitored logging. The timber companies will pay a licensing fee to purchase the timber rights to a particular parcel of ground, and will pull cords of rubber wood, maranti, merpaw, and merbo lumber, which are transformed into value-added products like doors, flooring, and furniture before being shipped to markets around the world. At 8 a.m. on February 1, 2023, 39-year-old logging supervisor Maud Sukri Zakaria was doing some troubleshooting on a pesky water line in their logging area. He had been working on the site for a year now and was used to the day-to-day -day maintenance that would spring up here and there. Working out in a remote area forces workers to fix what they have and repair what they break because going back to town for replacement isn't always an easy option. Mood and his associate were both bent over while they repaired the water line when they heard a strange noise behind them. Over the past several weeks, workers had spotted a sun bear in the area, but it had always run away and fled from them upon sight. About an hour before the men began fixing the water line, a family dog had found a sun bear and had been harassing it. It barked and followed the bear until the bear was fed up with the noise and irritation. Eventually the sun bear charged the dog and began to chase it. As the bear chased after the dog, the canine did the typical thing they do when they are frightened. It ran right to the first humans it could find. It was probably seeking protection from the bear, but the tactic dragged the lumberjacks right into the middle of a new set of problems they had not counted on. As Mood glanced up to investigate the strange sound, he could see a sun bear streaking toward him, right behind the dog. Sun bears can run up to 30 miles per hour, and it was clearly doing every bit of that, as the men had no time to react. Mode watched in utter fear as the four-inch-long claws of the bear dug into the soil as it turned its path to intersect his. Before Mode could jump out of the way, the sun bear knocked him to his back. Now sun bears are not the largest bear. They stand about five feet in height and weigh around 150 pounds. They are the smallest bear species and spend much of their time climbing trees. They feed mostly on fruit, insects, and bird eggs, but don't have those long claws and teeth for fashion. Although sun bears are underpowered in the size department, they are overpowered in the weapons department. Sun bear canines compare favorably with canine teeth from lions and tigers, and the rest of their teeth are flatter than other bears. This means their bite crushes more than shears, like other bear species. They also have the largest claws and bite force of any bear species in proportion to their size. 
Mode's friend had managed to flee after watching the bear knock Mode to his back. After knocking Mode onto his back, the bear sank its teeth into his leg. While Mode screamed in terror, the bear leapt forward and headbutted him right in the face. Next, it sank its teeth into his left shoulder. The only thing Mode could think of while the bear was attacking him was to say his prayers, as he was sure his minutes were numbered. The bear gashed his face and repeatedly bit into the flesh of his shoulder as he screamed out in pain with each bite. Mode's mauling went on for five minutes as he and the bear wrestled and tumbled. Even though the bear was a miniature and undersized version of his international cousins, it did its share of damage to Mode's flesh. After biting and clawing Mode up really badly, the angry little bear soon relented and turned around to escape into the nearby brush. Still reeling and in pain from the slashing and biting attack of the bear, Mode gathered himself and climbed back to his feet. He had a twenty-minute walk back to where he knew he would get help, so he stumbled in that direction. He arrived at the Kongzi family house near the logging camp and requested help, which they mercifully provided. Mode was taken to the Sultana Nur Zahira Hospital in Kuala Terengganu. He received seven stitches to his face and they closed his bite wounds to his shoulder with sutures. He was under medical observation for five days afterward. The authorities sent out a public service announcement encouraging people not to provoke wild animals. Instead, they needed to contact the nearest police station and avoid any confrontations. Sun bear attacks are not common, as they tend to be reclusive and shy by instinct. Their gentle nature leads people to take them as pets often, which can lead to dangerous situations for the bears and the people. In 2017, a woman and her husband were walking through a rubber plantation when they came upon a sun bear. The bear attacked both of them as they would not leave each other's side. The husband was severely injured and his wife died due to injuries sustained in the attack. In another instance of sun bear aggression in the same year, a father and son were attacked near a national park in Malaysia. They sustained serious injuries but survived their altercation with the miniature mauler. Sun bear attacks are extremely rare and fatalities on humans are even rarer. This may be attributed to their smaller size more than any other species trait. After reviewing the details of this episode, I have a few questions for you. Would you expect to be attacked by such a small bear? With so many predators in the jungles of Malaysia, why do you think the lumberjacks aren't armed with bear spray or firearms? How do you think it would feel to have canine teeth the size of a tiger's slash through your flesh? How do you think all that fight and fury got packed into such a little bear? I will be glad to read and reply to your thoughts, so please post them in the comment section below, and let's talk about it. Thank you for watching Scary Bear Attacks. If you've enjoyed this episode, please consider clicking on the like button and clicking on the bell icon. We'll help you know when we post our new episodes. Posting our video links to your social media profiles furthers awareness, and it's fun. We slashed our prices in our merch store, linked below. So check out the bargains there while you shop. As a member of our human community, remember to adventure bravely and be careful out there, especially in bear country.